Hi, this is Brad with Copper Creek Cuts, a lawn care company in Northeast Florida. And today we're gonna to talk about my multi-year, I guess it's been multi-year, yeah, uh, trial of the Echo PP, PP. The Echo, this video is off to a great start. The Echo PB8010 and the Steel 800. Having been able to use both of these blowers side by side, I've got good things and bad things to say about both of them. If all you care about is power and performance, then hands down, no discussion, no debate, the Echo PB8, did I say PP again? I, I've been hanging around my four-year-old son too much. I'm just gonna call it the 8010 from now on. The Echo 8010, hands down, beats the Steel 800, both models, in performance. That's not debatable, that's, the numbers speak for themselves, right? That being said, there are a few things I feel that the steel actually does better than the Echo 8010. When it's on your back, the steel engine seems smoother. Uh, it's got less vibration to it. Maybe that's because it doesn't put out as much power or CFM or, you know, I don't know, I don't know, but it's just, it feels better to wear long term the other thing is they come factory standard with all kind of straps and everything and they're going to keep you a little more comfortable and keep the machine where it should be versus the 8010, uh, which I believe doesn't, doesn't have the same kind of strap setup that the 800 has. Another thing I like about the 800 that the 8010 does not have is the collapsible tube, right? I did not think I was going to like that as much as I did, but that collapsible tube is Super, super nice. Now I'm 5'9", and the 8010's uh, nozzle was so long that if you tried, or if I tried to walk and not hold on to it, it would, you know, scrape the ground and, you know, pop me up because I'd trip over it. The nice thing about the steel is it's very easy to just shove that tube back up, lock it back up, and then you've got both hands, and you're not, you know, idling. Uh, right next to the ground so you're not blowing dust and dirt everywhere with the shorter tube it's up here and you're not really making a mess it also makes loading and unloading and putting it on and taking off a little bit easier because the 8010 tube is just uh, just monstrous just so that probably is my favorite feature of the br800 is that collapsible tube now to harp on the br800 i can tell you that pull side start I do not, that, uh, trying to think of how to say this diplomatically so people don't get up in arms. It's not a game changer. <laughs> it's not a revolution. Uh, Echo had a side start back in, I think 2006 or 2008, and it just didn't perform well. Cold starts on the 800 are more frustrating uh, or less reliable or less consistent, however you want to word it, than cold starts on the 8010. Uh, starting it from your back, I did it probably half a dozen times. Sometimes it worked fine, sometimes it didn't. So don't buy that machine for the side start feature. It's not, it's not a revolutionary thing. It's quirky, it's a neat idea. In practical application, eh, it's just okay. It's, you know, you're not gonna get it and be like, man, am I glad I got this. It's changing the way I do business. At best, you'll be like, yeah, it's nice to have, but whatever. Again, my opinion only. So those are my thoughts on the Echo 8010 versus the Steel BR800. What are your thoughts on those two machines? Have you been able to try both of them? Do you only have one that you use? Do you have any questions for me about my experience? Did something I say rub you the wrong way and you need me to explain it more? Leave your questions and comments down below. If you'd like to see a few more videos, here's some that YouTube thinks you might like. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it.